Hello, and welcome to Midwest Horizons, also known as the New Holland Feedlot. Um, we finished up harvest. We've gotten everything bailed, which um was just a little bit of bailage. Yeah, yeah, like five hundred bales, something like that. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're gonna need to uh bail up our soybean straw this time. But uh. I have gone around our big field and pretty much given us a headland with the uh, new case planter we have. That way it'll make uh, taking this big old seed hawk around just a little bit easier. Because let's be honest, the way it is right now, it'd get a little tight. But yeah, if you guys like today's video, Feel free to hit that thumbs up, you know, maybe even subscribe. If you do subscribe, it'll be, you'll be much appreciated. Wow, I kind of butchered that. All right, anyways, let's uh, let's get to planting because we don't have much daylight left. So, I think to uh save us some headache and to wow i need to come out here and do some dirt work this winter too um to make life just a little bit easier i'm going to uh go buy myself one of those tree shredders and we're gonna knock out all of these trees in here over winter and whenever we have extra time so that way we can just make this a straight straight through and we're going to be going and gaining i think it's loam and sandy loam so that'll also increase our um yield so it's gonna be a win-win right i mean it's a massive project which i think as soon as i get done talking to you guys i'm gonna call the uh local shop see if they have one if they do see if they could come drop it off and then while this is planted we'll just drive it across so we don't have to run over any crops well thanks to having the early rise planter and the fact that it can also plant soybeans at the same time we were able to finish this up pretty quick we might even be getting into uh actually no we're not there's no might about it we will be getting into silage here pretty quick and pretty soon once uh i go touch up the spots that the worker missed with the early riser and i think that uh tree shredder or whatever the heck you want to call it um should be here before too long so in the meantime whenever we have a chance we can go start clearing out trees yeah yeah things are starting to come together i love that this for once life is not super hectic and yeah we're, we're getting there, everybody. Also, I think we need to go sell some cattle, too, because I think the prices on them are going down. We've had them... We've had the old girls around a little bit too long trying to get some more calves out of it. And who knows? We may, uh... We may just go there, run cattle down, sell them, and then buy replacements right away. Well, I believe... This is the deal we were waiting on so uh i guess it's time before the uh soybeans start growing up let's run this across the field maybe uh test it out on a few trees and you know maybe get to get to work on clearing up some trees or actually it might be time to go get the cattle rounded up and nah no nah, we'll do that tomorrow yeah, we'll sell some cattle tomorrow. 
All right, all right. Let's uh get. Whoa, hey. This thing is nice. Okay, okay. I see you there. All right. <laughs> we made. <laughs> Shoot. We made. Whoa. Hey, I don't think you're supposed to do that. Yeah. This is definitely not going to take as long as I thought it was going to take. I was almost certain that this was going to take all fall and all winter to do. Yeah. Now we'll be, on, we'll be able to knock this out in a pretty short amount of time. But it's getting dark. It's getting late. Eh. We will, uh, we'll continue this later. Well, that is load number one. All set up, ready to go. It is time for us to finally go sell some cattle. I know it's only taken us roughly four ish. Oh, okay, don't fall over. I know we're getting a little heavy. Only taking us about four years to get our cattle big enough and actually we waited a little bit too long but i wanted to get a couple extra rounds of calves out of them because we're kind of filling our own feedlot now not really bringing in much uh many head from other places but i mean now we're going to actually by the end of this we're going to be bumping up our grand total by 180 head roughly yeah so uh i got a lot of trucking ahead of me i will see you all when we're done all right final load one hundred eighty-five thousand dollars selling off that load of cattle and 18 grand coming back here and for the last load so far we're i i don't know how much we're up i, I really don't i'll have to uh, look at the books when we get back but yeah we're we're making some money actually selling cattle which is awesome i'm just really tired of driving and i still need to go spray the fields uh work never ends we got it we're good well you guys will never believe what i found on the used market uh we got a used trident now i had to um buy the boom and the tank and everything else brand new because the one that was on it was broken and mangled that I, I think they said something about like a tree fell on it or whatever i i don't know but uh that means we are going to uh be getting rid of our sprayer that we have now i was not expecting this um i'll take it happily i don't know if we have the right tires on it i mean i guess we'll find out but i really don't want to destroy any crop ah eh. oh well oh we'll figure it out but no this is this is gonna speed us up for spraying weeds and fertilizing oh so much it's gonna be wonderful well clearing out that little bit when i couldn't sleep last night hey that that's made spraying a heck of a lot easier already oh yeah it's a good day I think we're going to call it there, guys. Next time, we will uh, see what we can accomplish when it comes to uh, getting all of our silage done because, yeah, I'm not 100% I'm not sure we're going to have enough, uh, enough capacity in both of our silos to um, 
you know, actually ooh, probably back up and hit all these little places over here to actually um, hold all of this because yeah, there's there's quite a bit there. But with that, we're calling it. So if you guys like today's video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. And with that, I will see you all later.